The Stealth Black Hawk helicopter is real and has been deployed within the US military, but it has been kept secret. If it weren't for the 2011 Operation Neptune Spear that captured Osama bin Laden, we might never have known that the US military had secretly developed a stealth version of the Black Hawk. After Operation Neptune Spear was exposed, the US military did not say anything about the stealth Black Hawk until someone took a photo of the US military retreating from the airport in Afghanistan, then the stealth Black Hawk came back into the public eye. But so far, the news is only about these two cases, which means that after the introduction of the stealth Black Hawk, the US has been strictly confidential, never made a public display, the specific appearance is not known, and the only thing that can be determined is that it has been installed in the US military. During Operation Neptune Spear in 2011, the US military sent two stealth Black Hawks with Navy SEALs to perfectly avoid the Pakistani Air Defense Network and arrive at Osama bin Laden's villa, where they killed him on the spot. The only downside was that one Black Hawk crashed due to operator error. At first, the US said the one that crashed was just a regular version of the Black Hawk, only to find out after the media went there that the Black Hawk was a version we hadn't seen before, a stealth Black Hawk helicopter. The US military had blown up the damaged helicopter before withdrawing from the battlefield, leaving only a pile of disfigured wreckage at the scene, but in the wreckage, we can still see some information. For example, from the tail wreckage, it shows that the tail rotor of the helicopter has a very peculiar hub with a kind of butterfly fairing, which can be judged to form a streamlined transition with the body structure to reduce radar wave reflection, which can be interpreted as a collection of stealth technology from the F-117, B-2, and F-22. From the helicopter's rotor wreckage, the helicopter's rotor, in order to reduce noise, may use five pieces of rotor as well as the V-22's tilt rotor program. The ordinary version of the Black Hawk straight with four pieces of cross-type rotor will have less vibration and noise. The top of the helicopter's tail beam has a kind of diamond-shaped cross-section, and the diamond-shaped structure is a signature feature of stealth fighters such as the F-22. We may speculate that since even small places like the tail spine of the helicopter are designed as diamond-shaped surfaces, not to mention the entire fuselage structure, there must be a similar diamond-shaped cross-section with sharp angles to reduce radar reflections. The stealth version of the Black Hawk has appeared in a total of two, one crashed during the capture of Osama bin Laden, and the other is now stored at Fort Bell Air Corps Base in Kentucky because it is custom-made, so the Black Hawk is not part of the US military's operational sequence of aircraft. The second time the stealth Black Hawk came to light was when the US military withdrew from Afghanistan, and if not for this appearance, it would have been assumed that the stealth Black Hawk would have been retired like the F-117, with the loss of one. In 2021, when the US military withdrew from Afghanistan, the stealth Black Hawk was photographed at the Kabul airport, which was not much different from the ordinary Black Hawk except for the pointed nose, ribbed fuselage, especially the vertical tail and tail rotor. The Black Hawk is very different from the one that was exposed when Osama bin Laden was killed. After the crash of the Stealth Black Hawk in Pakistan, Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation modified the Stealth Black Hawk from its previous full stealth concept to a partial stealth design, which only dealt with the key parts and had a certain stealth effect, at least not the Stealth Black Hawk crashed because of a maneuvering error, just like the previous crashed Stealth Black Hawk. This view is not impossible, Sikorsky once jointly developed Comanche with Boeing, it is normal to have such technology not to mention that Sikorsky now belongs to Lockheed Martin. The difficulty of modifying Stealth Black Hawk is not big, the hard part is how to optimize and improve. Like the original intention of the fixed-wing aircraft to adopt stealth design, the helicopter also adopts stealth design to reduce the probability of being detected, thus improving survivability and combat capability. The main activities of helicopters are at low or ultra-low altitude, although they can use terrain and features for cover. With the development of detection technology in anti-aircraft weapons, helicopters are facing an increasing threat. Anti-aircraft weapons such as man-portable anti-aircraft missiles, anti-aircraft guns, anti-aircraft machine guns, and even rifles in the hands of soldiers can shoot down helicopters. Among these anti-aircraft weapons, surface-to-air missiles are the biggest threat, especially given the light weight and small size of man-portable anti-aircraft missiles, but they are also the biggest enemy of helicopters. In the Soviet-Afghan war, 
a large number of helicopters were shot down by man-portable air defense missiles, as well as in Syria, Turkey, and Iraq in the Middle East and on the Russia-Ukraine battlefield. The US has known about this problem for a long time, so the idea of the stealth Black Hawk took shape around the 1980s. Sikorsky studied it back in 1978, and in an analysis of low-radar cross-section airframe configurations for the US Army, three configurations to reduce radar detection were described. One of these configurations was to modify the nose section of the standard Black Hawk's fuselage, configuration 2 was to modify the edges of the fuselage, and configuration 3 was to change the straight lines on the side of the fuselage to an extended sloping plane, similar to a trapezoid. The stealth Black Hawk, now revealed, clearly draws on the modified solutions in the above three configurations while having a very obvious Comanche style in the rotor blade section. In addition, the Stealth Black Hawk also makes use of a large number of composite stealth materials to enhance stealth performance by way of appearance. However, it should be noted that these materials more or less affect the performance of the Black Hawk, such as the capture of Osama bin Laden because of the stealth design. The Stealth Black Hawk, with highly classified hyperspectral imager navigation, electronic suppression pods, a real-time language translation system, and an intelligent assisted fire system, is the U.S. Army Special Operations Advanced Weapon. So there is only one reason for the crash, the helicopter is too heavy. If you want to add stealth characteristics to the helicopter, you must give it weight. The Stealth Black Hawk's airflow control is based on a large amount of coated armor and rotor coverage, with each blade having a wave-absorbing material and an extended structure. The Stealth Black Hawk's airflow handling is extremely sensitive to weather. While heading from Afghanistan to the target in Pakistan, it was found that the temperature in the target area exceeded the setting, while the high wall around the entire courtyard wrapped the helicopter's downward airflow and did not leak out, directly making it impossible for the Stealth Black Hawk to control the stability of the airframe, just like a piece of paper floating on a boiling pot being squeezed by the boiling water. A technical term for this state, this state is called helicopter vortex ring state and regardless of how high-tech helicopters are, there is only one result, and that is a crash. In addition to the problem of weight gain, helicopters themselves are also very difficult to stealth, or not fully stealthy. Helicopter strikes on the target are mainly concentrated in the visual range or short range, they usually use ultra-low altitude, the mountain canyon, etc. as a shield for sudden attack rather than the open high-altitude flight. So radar stealth is not the most important, stealth difficulties are mainly in the noise above. During the flight of the helicopter, the propeller and air friction produce high-frequency noise and will cause the airflow vortex to produce a lot of noise, which can be heard a few kilometers away. Noise can be divided into two kinds, engine and propeller noise. The engine is easy to deal with, adding a sound insulation material can be helpful. The trouble of the main rotor and tail rotor rotating noise, no matter how well optimized, cannot be reduced to a silent level and can only be controlled by changing the shape of the propeller, increasing the number of blades, and reducing the noise to an acceptable level. Stealth Black Hawk is such that, by increasing the number of blades, changing the shape of the blade tip, and installing the sound insulation material in the engine parts, noise transmission distance can be controlled within a kilometer or even lower. Just like the one that caught Bin Laden, it must be that Black Hawk is to the top of the head with not much sound, or Bin Laden will certainly be alert. Just Stealth Black Hawk Although the advantages of unique noise stealth, infrared, and radar stealth capabilities are far greater than those of ordinary helicopters, such stealth processing will cause a significant increase in costs. Because of this, only a very few Black Hawks were converted to stealth versions and were generally only used to carry out special operations missions. So in addition to being expensive, the reason for not having a large scale for equipping troops is that it can't play a large role. The only role of stealth helicopters is to transport special operations personnel, penetrate behind enemy lines, and carry out decapitation plans. Stealth helicopters can minimize the probability of being discovered by the enemy. Special Forces combat power is used mainly to undertake the destruction of high-value military targets, such as the beheading of important enemy personnel, raids on enemy command posts, capture and control of airports, ports, and other high-value targets, but also to carry out reconnaissance and surveillance missions to obtain valuable intelligence, 
rescue missions, and rescue the kidnapped personnel. In accordance with the current war situation, infiltration operations have been rare. On the modern battlefield, hypersonic missiles are more valuable than stealth helicopters. There is no problem that a hypersonic missile cannot solve, and if there is, then shoot another round. For example, the Black Hawk's predecessor, the Comanche RAH-66, combines reconnaissance, ground strike, and air combat capabilities with overall stealth, fuselage polyhedral rounded edge design, wave absorbing materials, engine intake design, exhaust cooling masking design, and culvert fan tail rotor design. It was known as the F-117 of helicopters but was still cancelled in 2004. Some people think the most direct reason is expensive, indeed, expensive is one reason why the price of Comanche rose from the initial $25 million to $50 million. But the most direct reason should be that the cost effectiveness is not proportional to the role, after all, the helicopter, no matter how optimized, cannot eliminate the impact of noise. Another reason is the maturity of drone technology. Where Comanche can do the job, drones can do it better. Drones have a long lag time and can hover in the air for more than 10 hours to carry out the task, which any manned aircraft cannot match. The most critical advantage is that drones are cheap, and will not cause casualties among combatants. In this way, the expensive Comanche will naturally have no room to survive. All in all, if the stealth Black Hawk on the Afghan airfield is true, then it is certain that within the US military, the Stealth Black Hawk is definitely already equipped. The Stealth Black Hawk, as a niche improvement, is not destined to become a mass-produced model, and most of them perform highly classified tasks, so as long as the US military intends not to disclose, we cannot find evidence of the existence of the Stealth Black Hawk.